This video is to test to see whether or not you have the correct permissions to edit your school's website. So please go to our homepage at www.pgcps.org and scroll to the bottom of the site. Bottom right corner is Login for Editors. Click on that link. You'll see a login button. Click on Login. Type in your username and password. The username is your email address without the app pgcps.org and then type in your password they usually use for Gmail. Then click Login. If all is well so far, you should see four buttons, Log Out, Work Area, Preview, and Help. If it says Display Name Your Name Already Exists, please email us at websupport at pgcps.org and we can correct that for you. If you've successfully logged in, we're gonna see if you have permissions on your school's website. So in the URL uh, up here in the address bar, Delete the login.aspx at the end of that and leave ectron.pgcps.org and then slash the name of your school or office, all lowercase, all one word. So if I were going to marry Harry's mother Jones, I would type all that in one word and then click enter. You should land on your school's website. It looks much like your www.pgcps.org website but this time it's an Ektron, E-K-T-R-O-N, and that is your staging or editing area that you will see, and then the public sees a WWW version. If you have permissions to your website, you will see access points uh, above like the rotating stories, above the content for school info, calendar, your, if you have announcements, also in that area you'll see, you roll over and you see menus. If you do see those things, all is well. If you do not see the access points or do not see drop down menus that say edit or add things, uh, please email us at web support at pgcps.org. W E B S U P P O R T at pgcps.org. Thanks very much.